right, it's time for another Office Hours capsule. This is a small segment of my Office Hours live stream. Um, you can see chat here. Uh, we'll tell you that this is not live, but they're lying to you. It is live, though when you're watching it now, it's recorded. But like I said, small segment, so you don't have to watch four hours of the live stream. But I do would love to have you come over to uh, us at twitch.tv slash the Astropub, youtube.com slash the Astropub live on Thursdays starting at 8 p.m. Eastern um, to come hang out. We talk about news, lore, rants about video game terminology and lots of other side tangents, but mostly Star Citizen and uh, those sorts of things. With that being said, uh, let's look at the changes to the roadmap for Alpha 4.0 that came out uh, on the 24th of July, 2024. And we'll talk a little bit about 4.0 and my expectation guide, I guess, for what to expect and when to expect 4.0, because I have a, a theory based off of a lot of other things, but we'll get started. Let's just look at the roadmap roundup first. All right, notable changes for July 24th. The following cards have been added to the release view. The Zeus Mark II CL. Building, balancing, and implementing RSI's small multi-crew ship, the Zeus Mark II CL into the game. Acidic Caves. Implementing acidic cave archetype coming to both Pyro and the Stanton systems. Adorned with luminous pools of water and dramatic stalactites and stalagmites. These caves provide a captivating settle settling setting for exploration, FPS missions, missing person missions, and more. Rock Caves. Implementing the Rock Cave archetype coming to both Pyro and Stanton systems. Illuminated by bioluminescent mushrooms, these caves provide a unique atmosphere for exploration, FPS missions, missing person missions, and more. Then Asteroid Bases. Implementing new asteroid bases scattered across space in asteroid clusters, gas clouds, and other areas of Pyro. From exploration type gameplay to mission based locations, these bases include both constrained interiors for potential FPS conflicts as well as space combat while reaching or fleeing from the location. Space Stations Contested Zones, or what I like to call Starkov. Contested Zones are a location feature coming in Pyro Space Stations, including FPS gameplay with various layouts tailored to its, for its purpose. The zones will feature a progression system requiring tokens to unlock different zones, giving access to all the loot inside. Collecting all the tokens will allow a player to open the final door and claim the grand prize. Some people in my Discord like to call this Star Citizen's Dungeons. So, what's important here is all of this stuff was mentioned in uh, CitizenCon last year. Space, sta space stations, contested zones, we've, they kind of described it a little bit. The idea is it's a zone where you can go in and find some very rare loot and then extract with those loot. It's an extraction shooter inside Star Citizen. Asteroid bases is sort of new. It's been hinted at for the last couple of years, uh, but these are not going to be necessarily player bases initially. These will be NPC bases, but it does leave the opportunity for building asteroid bases yourselves in the future, possibly. The rock caves and acidic caves are both new new biomes that they've been trying to get, get there. And of course, the Zeus Mark II CL. Now, with that all that being said, let's pull up the actual roadmap for, uh, for three dot. Uh, not three dot for 4.0. These, there we go. So, as of right now, they're going to add additional character customization. 19 locations. Now, it's important to note that these locations are all basically the pyro system. Pyro 2, Pyro 6, Pyro 5, Pyro 4, Pyro 3, Pyro 1, and then Acidic Caves, Rock Caves, Asteroid Bases, Space Stations, um, uh, Vatra, which is the second moon of Pyro, Aldea, these are just the moons of Pyro uh, 5, Pyro Space Stations, 
outpost colonialism, jump points, Ignis, which is pyro for five moons. So most of this is is pyro, just the pyro system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 14. So of the 19 features, 14 are just specifically the pyro system. So they could all be just collapsed down into one if you really wanted to. And then we've got acidic caves and rock caves, which are both in both systems, asteroid bases, which is I think gonna be in both systems. It's not just pyro. And then the, the contested zones is going to be just pyro. So that's one, two, three. Yeah, like that's like of those maybe and jump points. So like six total there. Do -do -do. AI Kazi Grazer. Gameplay Fire Hazard, Solar Burst, Life Support, Engineering. All of these can be kind of wrapped up into one. Engineering and life support and solar bursts and fire hazards. Fire hazards may be a little bit different, but they're all reliant on each other. If you don't have... Uh, da, 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 it's not there. And the ships, no, it's not on the ships or vehicles. Yeah. If you don't have this engineering, which is the power management system, you don't have life support. You don't have solar burst, which will affect this, and you don't have fire hazard. All of these require engineering to make it in. Uh, ships and vehicles, we have this, the Zeus Mark II CL and the ES with MFD rework and displays. We've got the new multi-tool, the charge and drain system, which is and fire extinguisher, which are all part of the same um, resource system. And then server meshing, mission refactor, and transit system refactor. Both of these are required for server meshing. To get server meshing in, you need to have these in there as well to make the game function as it is now. So the reality is, is we have out of the something like almost 30 something, probably over 30 different entries, we actually only have like 10 entries so far, which isn't bad, but keep that in mind. Now, what is this? Well, effectively, this means that it's on par with most content, typical content that CIG will releases for patches. So it's not unusable or unreasonable. But when is it going to release? Well, that's the tricky part. Early on this year, Chris Roberts specifically said to the community that they were going to, that him and, um, uh, I'm blanking on, on the name of the, the, the Star Citizens game director, but um, that they were going to showcase Star Citizen 1.0's roadmap towards the end of the year. Basically, Citizen Con, that they were going to show off the Star Citizen's uh, 1.0 roadmap. And for those of you who are like, wait, 1.0? Yeah, it's not been something that CSU's talked a lot about. They talked about it a couple times earlier this year because it's obviously they want to save it for CitizenCon. But CIG has been talking about a what they call a 1.0 release for a couple of months now. That that's their target beyond 4.0. So with that being a big factor of CitizenCon this year, I'm fairly certain that 4.0 is going to release before CitizenCon. Not PTU, not like open PTU or Evocati or anything like that. It's going to release before CitizenCon. Now, I can already see you typing in the comments. I can already see chat going, Paul, you're insane. You're crazy. This is, this is copium of the highest order. There's no way they get all of that. It, uh, it released between now, July 25th is when I'm recording this, and October 17th. They haven't even got 3.24 out. How is it possible? Well, here's the thing. We have precedent. CIG released 3.23. They had the roadmap for 3.23, you know, back in April, uh, March, April. And 3.23 was a very big patch. And what happened? Well, people thought it was not going to release until after Invictus. 
Instead, CIG hit a hard requirement for certain parts of 3.23 to come out before Invictus, including ships. So what did they do? They took the patch, about two thirds of the patch they could make, and then a third to closer to a half. They cut out and they completely removed from 3.23 to 3.23.x and just released what they could get out before Invictus in 3.23. That 3.23.x patch ended up being now just called 3.24. That's the precedent. Almost certainly everything I just said doesn't matter. The only things that matter for 4.0 are pyro, jump points, and uh, server meshing. And so the things connected to server meshing, like mission refactor and transit refactor, probably have to be in some way in for that to come in, but they're all part of that system anyways for server meshing. All of the pyro moons, all that kind of stuff, a lot of that stuff's probably already done. Uh, but the space stations, the asteroid bases, the um, the AI stuff, all of that is going to be put into a 4.0.x patch. So whatever, and that might end up becoming 4.1 at the end of the year with more stuff being added. Uh, and, and look, what was that most of the roadmap again? I mean, yeah, if you look at the roadmap, most of that was, if we look at it again, what we're seeing is uh, not that, all of the gameplay stuff's not gonna be in. Probably the ships will. This and this will probably be in just because they have to be, and maybe the MFDs because there's been some of that. Uh, this stuff doesn't have to be in, so probably won't. This stuff, so that's like one. And then, uh, let's see, it was like two of the six total as we combined it. So four items, but like of these 19 entries, 14, if I remember correctly, are all pyro stuff. So still the majority of it, but almost certainly CIG will do the bare minimum for 4.0 and kick it out before CitizenCon because they want CitizenCon to be about Star Citizen's future, about 1.0 and beyond. Swan for 2 and 1.0 and beyond. So they don't want to have another 4.0 is coming when uh, CitizenCon. Come hell or high water, no matter how bad it is, if it's functional, they'll push it. Mark my words on this. So what I'm trying to say is set your expectations properly. A lot of this stuff is very exciting and it looks cool. Starkov, baby injected into my freaking veins. I wanna see that. Asteroid bases, yes. Like all of this, yes. The, the new cave system, making caves a little bit more fun, maybe, but you know. That's good. The new, the both, the, the two of the three Zeus's being out, all good. But let's be realistic. Let's set our expectations properly. There's not enough time for CIG to do all of that before before Citizen Con. I would love to be wrong on this, but I think it's better that we as a community make sure that we set our expectations properly. I think the expectation of 4.0 coming out before Citizen Con is still reasonable. It's just not going to be the full 4.0 you hope. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below if you think I am just straight mainlining copium on this one, or if you think I'm being too pessimistic. And if you enjoyed this content, make sure you like the video, subscribe for more content, hit the bell icon to be notified when these release, as well as when we go live and join these wonderful people I have captive in my basement. I mean, the chat that's totally here of their own volition and I'm not forcing them to be here. And like I say every time, Hope to see you someday in the black.